When there were dinosaurs, there were turtles. The species has survived quite a lot and in Barbados, turtles continue to thrive under the joint efforts of locals, tourists and the Barbados Sea Turtle Project. Good morning. Okay, so Carla Daniel, field director of the project, has spent the last 15 years dedicating her time to saving turtles and educating others of their importance to our health and environment. So it's almost when you become involved in something like sea turtle conservation or, you know, conservation in general, it is almost as though your eyes are opened and you're looking at the world in a different way. And that is essentially what would have happened to me when I started the project. Everything that benefits a turtle benefits us as well. Although nesting season isn't due to start until the 1st of June, one lucky family on vacation spotted over 100 hatchlings coming to the surface on their final day on the island. We were um, watching the sunset when my daughter, she's five years old, she said like, Mama, Mama, and there are some turtles, come and have a look. And I was like, some turtle does, and, and we saw like a lot of little things like coming out from the sun. There, there were so many, so many, more than 100. I don't know how many, but it was insane. And we have never seen anything like this. It was so special. And uh, we had so many beautiful experiences with monkeys and with turtles in the sea, swimming in the sea, and with nature in general. And, and to finish with this, it was like, what else? It was incredible. It was like one of the best experiences of our life. Tourism has become a major economic industry for the island of Barbados, and as a result, turtles have become the flagship species for tourism. Conservation efforts ensure that marine turtles continue to thrive and flourish. Conservation heavily relies on um, people and you know human interaction, because really many of the problems are caused or um, exacerbated by human activities. and. The only way that you're going to get any of these things mitigated or you're going to reduce threat is, again, through human activity. While the future for sea turtles is going to be challenging, Carla hopes that the organization will one day be self-sustaining, as she believes that their work is not only vital for sea turtles, but our habitat as well. Turtles are eating plastic, but fish are eating plastic as well, and then we in turn are eating those fish. So, so everything really is connected to us. It's connected to everything else, but it is also connected to us. Lucy Lee Thomas, Chef News.